Smash 4, he was pretty much consistently a villager. Villager in this game, not as great as he used to be. He doesn't really have any changes to the character itself. It's just kind of everyone else got a little bit better or, or worse around him, I feel. But he's still like a threat to the character. People like Panda Bear have shown that you can do really well with villager. It's just a matter of do you choose to continue playing that character over you know the other 70 we have available. Yeah. And with uh, Joker coming up pretty soon, yeah, it's gonna add another one to that roster. Yeah, we got four more on the DLC after that, so it's gonna be pretty wild to see what the final mains of everyone is gonna be, you know? I I don't really think that Villager is that bad of a character this time around. He, like you said, he's still pretty similar to how he was before, uh, but he can still harass you with uh, Fair and Bear. Bear seems to have gotten a little bit stronger, don't quote me on that, but it seems like it kills a little earlier than usual. Um, yeah. Basically the same character, but he wasn't all that bad in Smash 4, but then DLC just kind of started kicking him around, you know, all these disjoints. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what they start off on. Of course, in SoCal, we did change the stage list just a little bit. We didn't add any or take away any stages. This is more that we have five starters and two counter picks now before we had everything with the starter, and then by extension, everything with the counter pick in that scenario. But and now the we have. The counter picks are, I believe, Yoshi's Island, and Yoshi's Island Brawl, and Kalos. Kalos. Oh, I do like these with Kalos. All right, the villager's gonna come out. Retake the control. Make sure everything is perfect for you. Hmm. I wonder why he typed his name and then decided to look for it. Well, let's see. It, it says his name is in there, yep. Alrighty, well, let's see okay. what he's gonna play Ness already. Oh, okay, so if I see a pocketed a B, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna reserve how I feel about that. <laughs> well, it's a matter about getting that Ness off stage first. So let's see how they start on the neutral game. Just both of them run off the platform towards the center. The Slingshot's gonna catch him first, but both of them still even grounds right now. Oh yeah, definitely. I will say, I think Ness has a stronger aerial game, but that's only up close, and Ness is pretty much always trying to do that to you. Uh, he has some nice little maneuver options with down B, and it also has a bit of a hitbox now, as opposed to Smash 4. So yeah, he has ways of catching up to Villager, but Ant needs to do his darndest to stay away and just keep spacing, spacing back there. And of course, Ant doing what Villager does best, you know, playing that zoning game, walling them out, using those slingshots, keeping them away. And now we got that jab. It's got a finisher now, so you're going to be able to keep them off stage. But, yep. Typical oh. Ness recovery, going to come up with a jump into an aerial. That's going to keep Ant at bay right now. But you know, that, that air dodge from Ness is so good. He's able to get some pretty good vertical height. There we go. There's that pocket. It's going to be something very situational in this matchup. I think one of the big things is that Ness can't really do those PK Thunder juggles anymore. Gonna have to be a little bit more creative on how he juggles Villager. So we're gonna have to see how he adapts and how he keeps onto that. And has got it held in the pocket right now. Let's see when he's gonna be able to try and figure out when to use it. Oh yeah. At least PK Thunder is one of those things you can keep using regardless of whether or not uh, it's pocketed. Ooh, put them with sweet back air. Not quite gonna be able to do it oh, yet. Catching him right in the rear. No edge guards yet. Kind of trying to figure out the positioning, but Ants just getting back to the stage quick enough where he doesn't have to worry about uh, Gunther's setup. Uh, and it was trying to catch him with that up tilt. Up tilt can't kill. Oh, yeah, that startup on that grab. I mean, the back throw is definitely a kill throw for Villager, but uh, that startup, a little too, uh, a little too hefty. Yeah, I believe if you stun shield just a little bit, there's a couple of extra frames where you can't just drop your shield. So that makes it even more deadly for a character like Ness. You can come up, pressure them with the BSI Magnet, get a little bit of extra stun, and then catch them off guard when they try to drop shield. Oh, wow. Uh, a little bit aggressive there. Kind of oh. on, on the misspacing and Ant really going in, getting 50% off of that conversion. That was a good drop down there. Yeah, right to it. Right to that back throw. Still one of the most powerful back throws in the game. Yeah. With a lot of these characters, uh, when they get those multi-hit moves, you can do a lot of drag down stuff to be able to set up into like kill throws and stuff like that. Almost every character that has multi-hits is able to do something like that. Ooh. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a move like uh, Ness's up air that got completely changed. He used to hit you with a big old noggin, but now that's completely different. Probably for the better though. Right, take him to the skies. Oh yeah, taking him to the skies. Okay. 
Let's see how he tries to keep up this ledge pressure though, and that's something you gotta be careful about against both Pillager and Isabelle. You gotta be careful about jump back to the stage slingshot. It covers a lot of space, so you either gotta throw out a hitbox to clank with it, or you can parry it and try to predict when they're gonna come up with it instead. Either way, you gotta be careful about those hitboxes, but that stage is gonna be able to take the stock instead. Oh yeah. No, uh, Villagers, no slouch when it comes to edge guarding himself. Yeah, I thought we were going to start seeing a lot more uh, slingshot stuff, but uh, fun for uh, Gunther. I'm not taking that. Okay, oh, combo the right tech chase on the platform. Put him on stage one more time. Yeah, trying to go for a low uh, recovery call out. Not even going to find it there. Oh, there's that edge guard. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'm telling you, back, uh, back air is pretty strong. Good. You get a strong hitbox on all those aerials. It's pretty difficult to come back, especially from the back air. Villager. Close game overall, but yeah. I think that Gunther's kept his own on it. Yeah, yeah it's so. just like, it's, like I said, it's just one of those things where Ness has to play a little bit different from Muda than a typical matchup because of that pocket mechanic. You saw he got pocketed on the DK Thunder once and then basically never did it again after that. Yeah, it's true. It's really true. He was very conservative about that. It, it seems like, for the most part, if you don't have a whole lot of range, you get to play Ness's game. Like, if you have a destroy, he has to play yours. But uh, I, I think that all really boils down to, like, in this matchup, there's no real disjoints unless the umbrella counts as one. The forward tilt. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But uh, I don't really see that being used a whole lot. I really just see slingshots. Really well. slingshots. Yeah. Projectiles will work as long as they're not energy based, like those slingshots are. So we can't use the BSI max to absorb. But already getting a big combo and keeping them off uh, in the disadvantaged position, trying to come back to center stage. And now Gunther has the opportunity to try and get something going. But he's just clipped again by these slingshots. That's one of those difficult things. Ness doesn't really have too much speed on him, so if he's trying to chase down Villager, it can be kind of difficult to try and pressure him and keep him suffocated, and so he has enough time to really reposition himself and start throwing out those projectiles again. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's something very tough for Ness to really deal with. He has to be especially patient in this matchup, because it's very easy to get frustrated by some shots. Especially when being spaced so well, like how Ant's doing. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. I think, uh, I think you really just need to be a lot more exhibition than what you Yeah. Very smart for a man. He waited just a tad to see what the tech chase option was going to be on the platform. He knew that that slingshot was going to cover all of those options. So he just waited very slightly and tried to elicit him to get a reaction, and he did. And he's going to get a reaction right here with that tech roll in. The down throw comes out. Not quite the back throw. Not confident it's going to kill from center stage like that. Yeah. It may have, but you know what? Hey, we'll take it. We'll take that for sure. The sprout. Yeah, and you know, uh, as far as Ness goes with his... Uh, with his recovery, he has to be. Ooh, no, it's interesting. He rammed his uh, he rammed his side B into the into the tree there. Yep. I think he figured that he had the protection from the tree just in yeah. case uh, he tries to come back from the other side or Gunther tries to chase him. Yeah, he didn't have to stop for anything. Well, yeah, like what you're saying before with Ness's recovery, he always tries to either jump or do like a drop down jump with an aerial or an air dodge or something like that. That tree was a really great way to go and cover that. Not quite gonna be able to find the edge guard on that PK Thunder, but he's not gonna die to it either, so it really works out for him. Wow, Fortzold almost killed with no rage. He had a little bit of rage, but uh, not enough to really justify. And the back door, not quite killing yet. Still finding, able to find a corner DI, so he's going to be able to survive that. You know, I thought for a minute we were going to see a uh, forward smash and just send uh, send Villager up to the other end of the... I think, tried to, I think Ant tried to mix it up a little bit there. He rode the gyro, or excuse me, the Lloyd consistently across the stage both times. But then the last Whoa. time, he didn't quite uh, do that. Tried to mix him up, thought that Gunther was going to chase him down, but he just waited for it. Wow. Uh, trying to get the, the up tilt, but he completely whipped it and get punished with the, with the down air from Ness. Not quite getting his back air, he's getting pushed. Oh, the, the good old roll into the, roll into the ledge. Love it. Oh wow, actually the balloon's protected from the potential hitbox from the PK fire, but still gotta try and recover. He's not gonna be able to, that down air, gonna be able to catch that very vulnerable recovery. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, and that's the first time I've seen the bowling ball all day. Pulled it out a couple of times, he was able to pressure with it before, just hoping that you could get it again. And wow, Gunther's really trying to catch like a roll or something on that shield. Wasn't able to find it though. And doing a good job of keeping up the defense. Even though Villager doesn't have like the greatest, greatest of out of shield options, he's still got a couple of tools that he can do and like, a couple of mix ups that he can get out of it. And one of them is just staying in shield and trying to catch someone's pressure instead. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. There is Nair can only get you so far. You really shouldn't be doing the same out of shield up all the time. Okay. Let's grab, putting him in uh, good position. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay, okay. No harm, no foul. Yeah. 
No uh, out of shield options catching each other. Just enough time and safety on either, both of them. Let's see, chasing with the Loy, trying to catch something there, and he's got him off stage. I don't think he... Now he doesn't have a jump. Let's see what the edge guard's gonna be. Ooh. Take him all the way across and yeah. finish it off with the fair, and that's gonna be the set, I believe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. set, it is. Yeah, he got the same edge guards pretty consistently that whole time. Like yeah. I said, it's very, it's very hard for a character.